Hello, St. Louis Bourbon Society members. It's Mike. You're at Mike's place, and today we're at the Dutton Ranch. That's right. We are talking about Yellowstone. I was going to whistle the theme song, but because I care about you so much, I don't want to harm your ears or embarrass myself too much. This Yellowstone is one of three single barrel picks we did recently. This is available at the Rack House. I know it's in Cottleville. Not sure about the Tompkins location in St. Charles, but it's worth looking for. This is one that I bought recently um, on a Saturday when we were doing some tastings at, at the Cottleville Rack House, and I wasn't sure which one I, I liked more of the three until I tried them a second time. And I want to share some tasty notes with you about this particular bottle. This is the 115 Proof. Now, we know by now, if you've been here before, I don't discuss color because I don't think it's important to the tasting experience. We talk about nose, palate, and finish. Simple measurement is a 0-1-2 score. One means it's expected flavors. Two means it's above board in some way. And the zero means it is missing or there's something kind of off about it. That being said, here we go. Man, on the nose right away. This is all honey. I take that back, honeycomb. It's a little denser than just um, bottled honey. It's more like the waxy uh, beeswax part of the honey. There's orange, there's citrus. There's some classic bourbon smells going on as well, but that's a solid nose. And for the taste, I think I have to go again. Yeah, it is. This is this one is wow. On the nose, a lot of honey. On the palate, that sweetness comes out right away out the gate. Honey. But then all this spice comes in and just starts jabbing away at your tongue. That uh, that oak, that barrel influence. And um, the honey is kind of battling back and forth in a really positive way with that barrel flavor. And there's, again, that citrus note, that orange zest. Maybe a little hint of grapefruit. I'm not sure. Then at the finish, oh yeah, it's the cocoa. Yeah, it's that kind of dusty, like Ovaltine. When you smell that can of Ovaltine, if you, if you indulge in that, um, it's kind of that malted chocolatey finish with a bit of that orange down the end. So honey, orange, cocoa, a lot of power, but it's balanced power. Um, and the finish, you get a little heat right there, but it's not overwhelming. At 115, um, sometimes you get that strong Kentucky hug. Sometimes it just kind of integrates well with everything else. This bottle, for me, is a don't miss. I would give uh, the nose on this definitely a two. The palette, a two. The finish is a one. That's a five. So this is top of my range. This is a buy. It's worth it. The Yellowstone SLBS Rack House Select 115 Proof. Go get you one. Bye, guys. Have a great week. See ya.